This ridiculously easy one bowl banana bread recipe is the only recipe you will ever need. Moist and flavorful, this banana bread is everyone's favorite. It gets so many five star reviews on my website like this and this and so many more. You can add nuts and chocolate chips if you would like, but today we are going to make basic plain version which is still plenty delicious. Let's get baking. Hey, hey, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to share with you my go-to banana bread recipe. This has been my favorite recipe for many years. The secret to my moist banana bread recipe is frozen bananas. You do wanna use frozen bananas. This is the secret for the most delicious moist banana bread. Here's the ripe banana that you wanna put in a freezer to freeze, and I'm going to show you how to uh, defrost this banana. Ideally, you want to peel and freeze, but I usually don't do that. I just stick them in the freezer and I'm going to show you how I peel them. It's really easy. It takes a minute. So I put the bananas in the sink and under running hot water, you will start feeling that skin is loosened and then you go ahead and just peel it. It's really easy. See? So the bananas are fr still frozen, so I put it in the microwave for about three, four minutes until it's completely defrosted. My bananas are fully thawed now, let's make the batter. So to get started, we need bananas, flour, melted butter, sugar, two eggs, baking soda, vanilla extract, I have homemade version, and salt. And my banana is nicely thawed. You need all these juices. This is what will make our banana bread super moist. So this recipe makes two banana loaves or 24 muffins. Now that I have kids, I like to make muffins because it's so much easier to serve. And what we'll do is with a wooden spoon, we don't need any mixer or anything, and we'll just go ahead and mash it up. Today, I'm going to make one banana loaf and 12 muffins. Bananas are looking perfect now. They doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. And into the bananas, we're gonna pour in butter and sugar and eggs. I like to break the eggs in a separate dish. and beat them lightly and add it into the batter. And we'll mix everything until nice and smooth. This recipe calls for minimum amount of sugar, so please don't reduce any sugar amount, any more than this because my recipe calls for way less sugar than many, many other recipes. So it will alter your texture of the banana bread if you reduce the sugar, okay? Oh, I forgot to add the vanilla extract. Actually, it should have been added beforehand. Um, about two teaspoons, but I don't measure. And we'll add the dry ingredients last so that we don't overmix the batter. We don't want to overmix the batter, otherwise it will become dense and dry and you don't want that. Now into the mixture, we're gonna add flour and teaspoon and a half baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll mix it until it's just mixed in. We don't wanna over mix the mixture again because it will create dense texture. Okay, my batter is ready and I'm going to divide it into 12 muffin cups. First, I lightly greased the pan already and I like to use this large cookie scoops and divides the batter perfectly for me. If you would like, you can use muffin cups, uh, liners. Okay, 
muffins are ready. Now I'm going to lightly grease the banana bread dish and I'm going to add the batter. This looking good and banana bread bakes for about 50 to 60 minutes but muffins bake about 20-25 minutes so I'm gonna put them all in into the oven and I'll remove them at 25 minutes and we'll continue baking the banana bread and I'll show you when they come out and banana bread is ready it smells amazing, you guys, but it has to be cooled for at least an hour or two before we can dive in. But banana muffins are cooled already and we can go ahead and taste test it. Delicious.